Ruby and we have just checked into our room here at the Strat. We've never been here before, we're really excited. We have booked an Elevate King room. We're on the 19th floor in the Select Tower. Let me show you our room. When you first come in, things that I have noticed right away is the color palette and just the modern aesthetic. It makes it feel very new and relaxing. I feel very chilled out in this room. I love the lighting that they've done above the headboard. You can tell they've got a brand new flat screen in here. They give you a fridge. Let me show you another huge plus. They put a coffee maker in the room for me, you guys. Not for me, they're for everybody. But I can't tell you how excited I am to roll out of this big bed and make myself a cup of coffee in the room. Big points to the strat here. Over here by our little window ledge, we do have a lovely view. You can see the Sahara, you can see kind of the Encore tucked back there. So we have a really actually nice view of the strip here in this tower. Very happy with the bathroom. A huge countertop here to put all of your toiletries and things. The walk-in shower also has the handle on the side that's closer to you rather than underneath the stream. That means a lot to me because you don't have to like put your arm under the ice cold water, you can wait for it to heat up. Little things like that make a difference to me. This feels modern and renovated and really nice. So that was our lovely room. First impressions, it's a little small, but it is such a nice room and I feel really comfortable in it. So, it is mid-morning. We have never been here before, so we wanna explore the whole casino. We have a full day of dinner, drinks, shows, pool. There's so much to do. We need to get started. Let's go. seated at the Strat Cafe. They have breakfast, brunch, lunch, late night. It's a really popular spot. We need to get something to eat. Got our brunch. My food looks about the right portion. Mr. Ruby's portion is gigantic. Look at this chicken fried steak. He told me to give it a shot. A little piece, here we go. Point outside, really good, good portions. Time to eat. First things first, gotta get your True Rewards card. Now they told me they have a promotion. If you spend $25 in slots on the first 24 hours, you get $10 in free play. So we're definitely gonna take advantage of that right now. like the casino here. It's really wide open and spacious, feels high end, and the drink service is good, so hopefully we win some more. So if you head upstairs, they do have some cheap eats. There's a McDonald's here, and I'm very happy to announce they have a Fat Tuesdays. You don't even have to leave. Upstairs. 
downstairs here, they do have some shops. There's an arcade. There's a couple of cheap eats. And they also have the sky jump and you can view people coming down. This is also where you're gonna check in for Top of the World Restaurant. Don't worry, we're going there later. Just got back from our exploring, got changed. We are gonna head to the pool. Now, we're here at the end of pool season. They did close their large pool down for the season, but they turned their 21 and up pool into a year round pool for all guests to enjoy. So we're gonna go and check out the wet 24 pool now. Let's go. Made it down to Wet 24, which is the 24th floor, 21 and over pool bar during the summer. It's actually a really nice, beautiful, warm day. The pool's not heated, I don't think, but it is pretty warm for being in middle October. It is like in the 80s, it's really comfortable. Anyway, there's a really cool view. You can see some really beautiful mountains and scenery. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit before it's time to go back because we have some dinner reservations to make it to. Okay, we just finished getting ready. So we are actually doing one of their dinner and a show packages, and I'll explain more about that later. But right now we are going to the Top of the World restaurant, that's the spinning restaurant, up high in the Strat. Our reservation is coming up really quick and we need to get going, so let's go. <laughs> it up to the top of the world after a very scary elevator ride. We just got seated. They seated us facing the strip. You can see the whole strip from here, but the whole restaurant rotates. So you're actually going to be spinning the entire time you're seated. It takes about an hour and 20 minutes to make it all the way around and the sun is setting right now. It's just a gorgeous view. Okay, now when you book the dinner and a show package, you receive a welcome glass of champagne and the chef also brought us a little amuse-bouche. We have some ravioli and I believe this is crab. Let's give this a shot, this looks amazing. Oh, delicious. There's a little bit of caviar here and some sun-dried tomato. Absolutely excellent, it tastes delicious. I need to wash it down with a little bit of brute. We just sat and watched the sunset behind the mountains while we're like slowly rotating. It's just gorgeous. We're having some bread and they have brought my appetizer. I have got the Caesar salad here. So this is what comes with the prefix course. Really excited to give it a shot. It looks awesome. Oh my gosh, we just got our mains and sides which come with the package. I have decided on the ginger salmon. It comes with acorn squash with coconut and pickled bok choy. Mr. Ruby has opted for a 10 ounce filet, just plain as it comes. And our sides, we chose the Brussels sprouts which have polenta and pine nuts. And we have green beans with almonds. Everything looks so incredible. I can't wait to dig in. The warm butter cake is their most popular dessert. It comes with ice cream and fresh berries. It's really huge. We're splitting one because it's gigantic. Let's try it. I got a little bit of ice cream. I'm gonna get some of the cake. See how this is. This is so delicious. Get this if you come here for sure, absolutely. Now, as I mentioned, we booked dinner and a show. So here at the Strat, they have like a wide variety of shows. So you can do comedy, they have a mentalist, they have magicians, they have dancers, performers, and we happen to grab Michael Jackson Live. So we're gonna go and see that show. Dinner and show can run you around $150, $175 if you do the top of the world, but they have other show packages for cheaper that you can do some of the cheaper restaurants as well. It's a really good deal, I think, and it kind of like sets up your whole evening. So let's go catch our show, and I'll see you guys after that.
slow it down. finished Michael Jackson live. We really enjoyed it. It was fabulous. They played all the really great songs. The performer was awesome. The dancers were amazing and it was just a really high energy show. We were dancing and singing in our seats. It was really great. Now I think it is time for us to head on up. The night's not over yet. We're going way back up to the top to 108 to get some drinks at an, a sky pod. So let's go. Okay, we made it back up. We are here at 108 and we got ourselves some cocktails. So up here is actually a bar, it's inside and they do have some really cool lounge areas for you to stop and have a drink and enjoy the view. If you go upstairs to 109, there's actually a really cool observation area up there as well as the insanity, really scary coaster thing. So we have got two different cocktails to try. We are trying the Botanical Bliss and the Spiked Grapefruit. I taste a lot of the watermelon. I taste the Casa Amigo, so you can definitely taste the tequila in this one. It's more tequila forward. I would say if you like a sweet drink or you really like tequila, this one's really good. This one's more of that real fresh, really crisp flavor. Both of them are honestly really good. I have trouble deciding. Well, we are gonna enjoy our night here and enjoy our drinks and enjoy the view, and we will see you guys all in the morning. checkout time and now I need to give you all my final thoughts on the strat. Okay, so this is our first time ever being here. So I have a ton of thoughts and like overall opinions and I have to say they're pretty positive. I really enjoyed our stay here. Let's start with the room. We are in the select tower. That was definitely the best tower to be in. The other two were more tucked back by the theater and this tower I just felt like the elevators came really fast and it was in a really convenient location. And we are in an elevate king room. Now I did mention it felt kind of small. The room is like 340 square feet, I think. So that's like pretty average. I think it's that this bed is huge. I don't think it's a normal king bed. It feels larger than a normal king. I had no complaints about the room at all. It felt really comfortable and cozy. Uh, super relaxing room. We're here on EDC weekend, so the rooms are like outrageous. The prices don't reflect normal pricing. Typically, this room runs about $100 a night on the weekdays. That's including resort fees and all in everything. So $100 all in for this room. I also wanna point out they have rooms here for as low as $50 all in per night during the week. Now I can't speak to the quality of those rooms. Those are their like regular non-renovated rooms. But $50 is like a budget, budget hotel with bare amenities. And this is not that. This has tons of amenities. But the crown jewel, the shining gem, was absolutely the top of the world restaurant. This service was amazing and super high end. Like I had a black dress on, they immediately came and gave me a black napkin instead of a white one. The slowly rotating the view was beautiful and the food quality was excellent. So it is a place I would absolutely recommend. I also recommend you combine it with a show. These dinner and show package thing is a really cool concept. Like I said, you can basically pick from the three restaurants they have in here and then pick from different shows that they have and combine them at different price points. But to eat at the top of the world with any of the shows that they have offered was between 150 and 170 dollars mr ruby's steak was like 70 dollars in itself and our michael jackson show tickets would have been like 90 dollars on their own so think of combining that along with everything else you get it's a totally good deal and you're basically set for the night now Let's talk about the one downfall to the strat. The one thing that makes it like not the absolute best choice ever in Vegas and that is the location. Just know that your Uber budget will have to be included and that you could take an Uber over to like the Wynn and there is a monorail station at Sahara which is about a block and a half from here that you could go to but it really is the only bad thing I think about the Strat is its location. We were impressed. I mean, the drink service on the casino floor was great. The gaming was fun. I would be happy to catch some more shows. 
and try some of the other restaurants. Overall, I definitely give it a high rating. We had a great time. I liked this room. I would love to come back and try one of the other rooms and compare and see the pool. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys and gave you a lot of good information. If this is my first video you're seeing and you're new, hey, I'm Ruby. If you wanna hit subscribe, I do all kinds of hotel reviews for you guys and I'm happy we stayed here. I'm excited to go to the next one. I'll see you guys there.